Hi, I'm Yuki. Thank you for purchasing for Little Lines product. In this video, I'll walk you through how to set up this OneNote digital planner on your computer and tablet. Let's start with computer first. I'll show you how to do this on the PC. Before you click on the download link I emailed you, please make sure you are signed into the same account of your OneDrive and OneNote first. This is very important to get things right. The download link will take you to your OneDrive where you'll see three files in a folder I shared with you. The sticker book, the Monday and Sunday starts version of the uh, OneNote Digital Planner. Now please click on Add to my OneDrive up here. Continue, Add folder. Now go to my files. You can see the share folder has been added to your OneDrive. You're going to want to break the link of these files with me. So you'll be the only one who has access to them. Here's what you need to do. Select the files you want to import to your OneNote. Click on Move to. Select the folder you want to save them in. Click on Move. You may see an error here. Just move anyway. You can now see moving two items. This is going to take a while. I'll just fast forward this. You may see another error here. That's all right. Go ahead, refresh it. Go to my files. Go to the folder you just moved the digital planner and the sticker book in. Let's import them to your OneNote one by one. Right click on the undated planner. Open in OneNote. You can find out what you're expecting from this OneNote digital planner on this table of contents page. As this OneNote planner is made up of tons of pages, each of which contains a template picture, it may take some time to load these pictures when the first time you open it in your OneNote. Okay. Let's go back to OneDrive and import the sticker book. There are over 600 stickers here, so it'll take a while to load them too. You may notice this purple line here. It means these sticker images were added here by me. If you want to get rid of it, just come up to the menu bar and click on View. Click on Hide Authors. There you go. They're gone. Okay, now I need you to do one more thing. Go back to your OneDrive. You can see the share folder is still in your drive. Remove it. Now I'll show you some tips of how to use the OneNote Planner. I've included 2020 and 2021 calendar here for easy setup. You're not going to need the blank yearly calendar until 2022. You'll need to make a few copies of this digital planner to create your 2020 planner, 2021 planner, etc. Let's go back to OneDrive. Create a new folder. I'll name it OneNote Planner Backup. Select these two files 
we're gonna copy them, but you'll find it pretty odd. There's no copy to button up here. Here's how to fix it. Refresh your OneDrive. If you still not seen it, close this web page, reload OneDrive again. If the issue is persistent, please sign out of your OneDrive and sign back in again. Hopefully, you see copy to button is up here. If you're still not seeing it, please restart your computer. Now select the two files, choose the folder we just created, then copy. You can see the files are being copied. It'll take a while. I'll just fast forward this. Please make this folder as a backup folder for the digital planner and the sticker book. Just in case you mess up with the files, you can still have them back here. Now I'll show you an example of creating 2020 planner. First, rename the undated planner. Open it in OneNote. You'll see the name still remains unchanged. You need to sync it to update it. There you go. Okay, delete the yearly calendar and 2021 calendar. I've created the daily pages with date. If you want to add weekday, say it's Wednesday today, you can type the weekday right after the date. Now I'll show you some tips of how to use templates. Let's get started with the live templates. I've set up the sub pages for you to give you a sense of how you might want to organize your pages under these template sections. So say you have a column, go back to the section that pay off tracker, which will always serve as a template for you to duplicate. Right click on this template, deselect, set picture as background, right click on it again and copy, back to column, paste and set it back as background. You can always make copies like so. For account tracker, you can just make as many copies as you need under the original template. Of course, you can organize it like the way we just did with that payoff tracker. Same goes with password tracker and contacts. Okay, let's go on with work templates. Again, you can see I've made some sub pages for you. Let's take a look at the meeting notes. You can name your meeting notes with date, which I think it's a nice way to keep track of meetings as well. Then do the same thing as I previously did with live templates. Deselect set as background, copy and paste. To make a copy for another meeting notes, you can just go ahead, copy and paste the whole page, then rename the duplicate, which is easier, I think. Same goes with goal plan and project plan. Now I'd like to show you how to use 
the new templates. They are ready for making copies. So you don't need to deselect set picture as background. Just go ahead, copy the template, then paste into wherever you want to add extra notes page. Then set it as background. Next, I'll show you how to use the sticker book. Pick the sticker, copy, go back to the 2020 planner, then paste. Resize it to the look you like. Bear in mind, don't set the sticker as background. Otherwise, it will just disappear. I think it's because there's daily template I already set as background. I do hope you to keep this backup folder of your OneNote digital planner untouched because sometimes things could go wrong. You may mess up your planner or sticker book so with this backup folder, you can always come back here and retrieve the files. So whenever you want to make any changes into your OneNote Digital Planner, say redesigning or reorganizing the templates, please do it with the copies. Now let's set it up in Tablet. I don't have any Android devices, so I'll show you how to do so on an iPad. I think the process should be similar on an Android tablet. First thing first, Please make sure you are signing to the same account of your OneNote and OneDrive on your tablet. Then click on More Notebooks here, Browse, click on the right server. Make sure you click on the one with the same account. Go to the folder you save the digital planner and the sticker book in. Load the planner. As I said before, first time you open it in your OneNote, It'll take some time to load the pages. Let's go to those pages we made changes on PC just now. See, on May 20, this page Everything we did is synced right here. Okay, let's load the sticker book. The sticker book contains over 600 stickers. They're created at a bigger size to maintain the image quality because I don't want you to wonder why the stickers are fuzzy and so not pleasing to look at. Then comes another problem. One note may crash when you try to work with the stickers. To solve this, first please let the stickers fully loaded into your OneNote. After that, don't use it right now because it's very likely you'll still experience app crashing. So leave it there. Come back to it like at least an hour later. Now when I work with the sticker book, there's no more annoying app crashing. One more thing I want to repeat is don't set the sticker as background. As I said before, it will just disappear like so. If you are still experiencing app crashing, that's probably because you are using an older device that's not capable of dealing with bigger files. I would suggest you to make a lightweight sticker book, meaning removing stickers you're never ever going to use out of the original one. Please remember to do so on the copy instead of the original sticker book. One last thing is I'd like to ask you to do me a favor. If you could just send me an email, letting me know you have successfully set up the OneNote Digital Planner, then I can just remove the folder I share with you out of my OneDrive to free up my space. I really, really appreciate that. 
I hope this Venno Digital Planner can help you get your life and work organized. And I'm very happy to hear any feedback or suggestions from you on how to improve this Venno Digital Planner to make it easier to use.